Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Fantastic Four Vintage Collection Retro Carded Fire Lord figure. I gotta be honest with you, I am not too immersed in the lore of Fire Lord. I know that he is one of the heralds of Galactus and I really like the design of the character a lot, but he's gone on and fought off people other than the Fantastic Four. But today we're gonna be looking at the figure and this packaging looks really good, aside from them lacking that silver foil around the four. That still kind of bugs me, but I do mostly like this vintage retro card look. On the back, you get a nice image of Fire Lord along with a little diagram showing you how to interchange hands for your action figures there's a read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now not much more on the top or the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open but first if you're trying to get your marvel legends you can do so it big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below <laughs> And here's Fire Lord out of the packaging. And there's a lot of stuff to be expected with this figure. However, there is new stuff here that I was very much looking forward to. And I gotta say, so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. But anyway, let's get a closer look at the accessories. And then we'll take a closer look at the figure. We do get interchangeable hands, which is great. So you have your fisted hands and you have your staff holding hands. And wow, this looks amazing. I love this fire effect. You can see how it just fades into yellow very well. You have a very dark orange, a lighter color orange, and then it goes into the translucent orange or yellow right there. That's very cool. You can rotate these. I haven't tried taking it off. Nope, it's not coming off, but it does rotate. So I really like that a lot. Looking at this one too. Ah, that just looks really cool. Really dig that. Let's get some light behind it too so you can see how it lights up a little bit. You know, put the light on there. Okay, I'm just like overexposing everything. But yeah, I really like how this came out. <laughs> So the head sculpt is one of the two newest things about this whole figure, and I gotta say, I love it. I really like this photoreal tech paint that they've added to the mouth and the eyes. You can see that, right? The yellow circles in his eyes. So I love that detail. The mouth looks really good. Love the sculpt, and I'm loving this translucent, fiery hair. I think that looks really good. Very, very pleased with that. And the rest of the figure, we already know what this is. It's the Sunfire body mold. We've seen it many times. But to look at the deco, I gotta say, it came out pretty clean. I don't have much to complain about. I have a little speck of green or blue right over here. Uh, the white paint came out pretty clean right over around the waist. You still have that whole port. And I don't see any, like design uh, missteps over here with this. You know what I mean? There's nothing major I'm thinking of that they missed out on. I guess maybe they could have added flame effects or something to them, but I think it looks solid. I like what I see over here and we get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. We've seen this figure many times before, but I'm gonna just do the fastest articulation segment ever. Some of it's gonna be in English, some of it's gonna be in garbage. All right, you can move the head up that far and it will move downward that much, shift forward and back like a power driver. Turn side to side and pivot a little bit. You get the butterfly joints right there, shoulders outward there, down, full around, bicep swivel, doubler joints right there, swivel, then hinges up and down. You get that ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist cut right there, right? You got that hip joints that move almost a splits and then you can kick forward that much and back a tiny bit. And he has beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this Fire Lord figure, you can see that he is standing uh, at about six and a half inches tall, maybe just a little bit taller than that. And then the whole staff with the effects and everything right there is at about five and three quarter inches tall. One thing I should have mentioned earlier is that these weapon grabbing hands are a little bit loose for this staff. Like it wants to droop on you. So, I mean, it's leaning against itself right there, but yeah, it's a little bit loose as far as the grip goes. It's really warm over here in California, so I guess for the most part, I'm going to have him posed holding this in both hands. But yeah, I just want to let you know if you want him posed with holding it in one hand, it's going to be tricky. And then to compare Fire Lord next to another figure utilizing the Sunfire body mold, and I would have grabbed Sunfire, but he's in a really cool pose on my X-Men shelf. Have this Deadpool right over here instead. And then here's Fire Lord next to a Fire Lord combatant. There's a bunch of other characters that could have used Phoenix. A lot of people mentioned Phoenix or uh, Black Suit Spider-Man. Shout out to the Ruckus. Uh, but I chose Thor over here, and yeah, they, I like the size comparison between these two. Then here's Fire Lord next to some Heralds of Galactus. We have the Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer, and then we have the Return of Marvel Legends build a figure Terax. And just so you guys know, uh, the Galactus is shipping out, but 
uh, that Silver Surfer from that set or from that HasLab is not nearly as shiny looking as this figure right here. I hope it comes out shinier than what I'd seen over at San Diego Comic-Con, but the Silver Surfer from the HasLab Galactus is not looking like it's going to look like this. I, I'm just saying. And then here's Fire Lord next to the Marvel Universe 19-inch Galactus variant figure. And this has been my favorite Galactus, but I cannot wait for that HasLab to show up. I know these don't scale perfectly, but hey... This is uh, still a very good looking figure. I'm not gonna be able to get rid of it after I get that HasLab figure, but yeah. Oof. And lastly, here's Star-Lord next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, Fire Lord, huh? <laughs> hey, are you good at making pizzas? I'm sure you could heat up my pizza. Hold on a second. All right, if you just toast this up. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. I have some more reviews coming to the channel very soon, and this figure right here, I feel like Hasbro delivered on what I was expecting, and I'm really happy to add the character to the shelf. So this was something that I immediately saw as a must-buy. There was nothing that I was really worried or concerned about. I was familiar enough with this body mold to feel confident that it would be a nice fit for the Spire Lord figure. And I like the added accessories. I think the flame effects look really good. I'm very pleased with them. I think Hasbro is doing a really good job with their gradients. I've mentioned that before, but over time, it just seems like it's gotten better and better. I feel like I'm seeing more colors involved here with the transitions in those reds and oranges. So I'm really liking that a lot. I absolutely love the new head sculpt. So I think that's great. I think maybe some people are pretty upset about the figure costing what it costs now uh, with the vintage collection price tag and that packaging, especially for somebody like me, I'm throwing the packaging away. I'm not going to keep it for this particular figure. To be honest with you, I don't think that Vintage Collection card had much to do with the price of the figure because it's still marked at $25.99. So that's the regular Marvel Legends price. And with the new stuff added here and seeing the familiar body mold that I like a lot, I'm going to give this Fire Lord figure a sun rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. I don't really see anything really missing here. I feel like Hasbro just nailed it. There wasn't a whole lot to ask for with this figure, but, you know, I think they did a really good job with this piece, and I'd like to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com, and if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.